In today's video we going to talk about how to make a game like this. If you want to learn how to do this then watch the whole video. First we are going to add a platform and a player hitbox to our scene, and now let's just test this. Works as expected, now we are going to add the actual player. Now let's hide the player hitbox and center the main player to the hitbox. If you don't understand what I am doing here you can ask for a video on this in the comment section. It works fine, you can add animations of walking and jumping if you want but I will not add those for now as it is not the topic for today. Let's add the gun to the scene. Now let's make sure that the gun is in the hands of the player by using the position function. Obviously we don't want the gun to be on the head of the player so let's add some values to fix the positon. After testing many values I found out plus 35 on X and plus 45 on Y to be perfect for me. Now this looks perfect and we are good to go. Now let's make the gun point towards our mouse using the rotate function. It works perfectly fine but we still have an issue, if we see carefully the gun is moving along the center which does not look good. So let's fix the issue by changing the point of the gun from the center to the holder. Now the issue is fixed but now we have another problem, our gun turns upside down when we are shooting back. We can fix this by using this bunch of functions. We will flip the object horizontally and vertically but remember to put the active flipping to no. For second case we will only flip the object vertically but we will keep the active flipping option to yes. Now we have fixed almost all the issues and now we are good to go. Now we will add a point in the gun from a which a bullet is supposed to come out. You can adjust it manually. With that being done we will add a function which works in such a way that if the key mentioned is pressed then a bullet will be spawned on that gun's point that we just created. We can see that the bullet is created when the key is pressed. I prefer to use keys, but if you prefer mouse, you can use the mouse release option. Now we are adding a function which works in such a way that if a key is pressed it will add a force to the bullet in the angle the gun would be in. You can add any pixel force to the bullet but remember to set the force to permanent instead of instant. Put the function as an action of the key pressed. Now also add a trigger once condition and here we go. We can see that our game works perfectly as we wanted it to, now let's test this on our enemies. Well we can see that this thing works perfect, if you faced any problems in the video you can ask it in the comment section.